municipal solid waste management is an important function of the municipalities in the world. It is a fundamental duty of the municipalities to keep the towns, cities neat and clean and uh, safeguard the public health and environment. So I have a passion of wearing white dress always. Likewise, I am having a passion of keeping my house, my street, my village, my, my state clean. So I am towards the cleaning the state as an administrator in the government of Andhra Pradesh. And now I am towards the country to be kept clean. Mahatma Gandhi, <laughs> Mahatma Gandhi said, sanitation is more important than the independence. And uh, where citizens are throwing the garbage and municipalities, municipal authorities are throwing the garbage into the tanks, open spaces, and burning the garbage, thereby smokes with toxins are generated. And the, the authorities are throwing the garbage road sites and where in illegal places also they are throwing. Waste out of sight, waste out of mind. And once the waste is handed over to the municipality, we don't know where it goes and uh, what is the end of the waste. Can we improve it? If so, how can we improve it? And as, a, as citizens, it is also our responsibility not to throw the garbage. And just now we had in the break, how much waste generated by eating burgers and all those things. All disposables. We must reduce the waste, reuse and recycle. Thereby citizens' responsibility is uh, holding on their shoulders. And it is a simple methodology, and even Bangalore, Bombay, whichever town, city it may be, with simple introduction of timely and efficient collection of door-to-door -door collection will make the cities neat and clean and uh, without bins. Bin-free cities can be possible with the door-to-door -door collection, prompt and efficient collection. And these recyclables on the spot, re this uh, segregated recyclables can be an asset and a resource to make the recyclable paper, waste paper into a clean paper and a regular or usable paper. And this can compensate, our country's waste paper can compensate our requirement of paper in the country. And uh, this kind of transporting system, collection system, will avoid multiple handling. And our system is collection and putting somewhere and again handling, again again lifting and transporting. But the system is avoiding multiple transport system. And uh, in this way, garbage is transported to the processing unit. This truck carries 103 bins, and each bin carries three cages of waste. Totally three tons of waste is mm, carried in the truck at a time without spilling. And this is a transfer station and in Bangalore also, you might be seeing so many transfer stations, one place to one place, one place to one place. But there is this is the transfer station from one tr small truck to bigger ton. The bins directly goes to the compost head. And here the, the, the waste is pulverized, which, is, uh, which will be cutted in, uh, mechanically it will be cut into small pieces, which reduces the composting, uh, digest, digestive time, uh, early, early digest can happen. And uh, this kind of pulverized material can be processed into compost, and uh, this compost is useful to enrich the soil. In this way, we can make the cities, towns, with, with a simple invention, with a simple in intervention, uh, neat and clean, we can keep the towns. This will really give 
a good result of uh, keeping the drains, tanks, everything in clean mode. Thank you. Khadr Sahib, thank you for this uh, very interesting work that you're doing. Um, I'm, while that we set up for the next speaker, I, I would like to ask you a couple of questions. Um, um, how expensive is it for a city to implement this system? Because you, you said that some of um, the material is sold, the compost is sold, and the paper recycling is sold. Does that cover the cost of implementing the system? No, it is not a, it is not a, this mic. It is not a costly one. It is a simple and cost effective one. Already the urban local bodies, the municipalities are having their own infrastructure, manpower, uh, all kinds of logistics they are having. And this is required only just management of uh, manpower. Just management of manpower will find a solution by, for collection of uh, proper, uh, proper collection of waste from the doorsteps. And there is no extra, there is no extra burden to the municipality for this uh, waste uh, handling, processing, and uh, recycling of uh, waste. This uh, through this recycle, uh, the recycling of waste paper, in this. Uh, Mm, this Bangalore can generate nearly 10 to 12 tons of uh, dry recyclables per day. So, 10 tons of recyclables will generate 10 tons into 5,000 per ton minimum. So, 50,000 rupees will generate out, uh, out of the waste of uh, this uh, thing. And, and this, uh, each ton of uh, paper to uh, manufacture, 17 trees have to be cut down. And 17 trees e equivalent to 7 tons of wood is required for manufacturing this uh, paper, our requirement paper. Thereby, per day, 10 tons and 170 trees we can save by doing this uh, small practice. And uh, the woman community's responsibility is more. Nothing should be thrown and uh, that can be that can be stored at house level and this uh, municipality will take it away for necessary action. So is it, is it your dream to see this rolled out in many cities across India? How, what, what sort of timetable do you think it will take? So this will not take uh, much time to make this country a bin-free city and garbage-free city and just a commitment of, a sense of commitment make the towns and cities a clean cities. And uh, the, the authorities, the bureaucrats, also should have a commitment. At the same time, citizens should cooperate. These both uh, uh, can make the cities and uh, towns uh, a clean cities. There is no, uh, no time is required. If for me, if Bangalore city, to make this Bangalore city a bin-free city and a garbage-free city to make it, Hardly three to four months is enough for me to make this so. Wow. Um, last, last question. Um, I've heard it claimed that um, uh, some Indian bureaucrats are a little slow, maybe not so hardworking, sometimes corrupt, sometimes ineffective. I've heard it claimed. You seem to be the opposite of all these things. <laughs> do, you, do you have any advice for people who are getting blocked by bureau bureaucracy, what should they do? All bureaucrats are not the same. And uh, there are good people are also there in bureaucratic system. And uh, the, uh, sorry, you question me again, the question, please. <laughs> Just any advice on, on how to proceed if you feel you are blocked yes, by yes, a PR? Yes, yes. So to, to make it uh, this system successful, we need training. And governments are giving training to the bureaucrats' higher level people. Whereas in Andhra Pradesh, under the leadership of our beloved director, Janardhan Reddy IAS, he is going on giving ideas like uh, TED ideas. 
he is giving good ideas thereby at last last level even worker level also we have covered the trainings uh, thereby there is a lot of improvement and in andhra pradesh 73 towns small towns are bin free city bin free towns and uh, four towns are and my dream first bin free city second one is zero garbage and third one these two things we have achieved and uh, i am going to retire next year and my dream is before my last breath the country should become like our towns and uh, now in andhra pradesh four towns are dump free dump less towns no question of dump and every every waste will go for processing recycling and in this way it will not uh, uh it will not happen unless otherwise a down level people are so given training proper designing proper planning proper monitoring and as you said the bureaucratic problems also there and political problems are also there to struck this uh, system thereby tactfully we are going ahead thank you khadar sahib thank you so much for being one of the great bureaucrats of india thank you thank you thank you <laughs>